may just be a typical fairy tale, but it is highly potent. Prince Haldal has dreamed of being a valiant knight since age two. He is now 20, making him the same age as Princess Stelazine, who has been locked up in her tower since age five, held captive by the evil witch Prolixen. The evil 50-year-old witch Prolixen has dreamed of being wicked ever since age two. Her donkey sidekick, Prolixen D, simply dreams about receiving his 12.5 to 50 carats every two to four weeks. In order to save Princess Delazine from her tower prison, Prince Haldol and Prolixen begin a long-lasting battle in which they repeatedly stab each other and give each other Indian sunburns. The battle is long and relentless. 72 hours into the battle, Haldol starts to experience acute dystonia, involuntary muscle spasms that he cannot control. After even more time passes, Prolixen develops tardive dyskinesia, and unfortunately she is never fully able to recover from it. As a result of being overexposed to battle, everyone develops cogwheel rigidity, a fine tremor, shuffling gait, blurred vision, and akesthesia. Eventually, Prolixen and Haldol decide to call it quits before heaven forbid someone develops neuroleptic malignant syndrome and dies. Stelazine remains locked up in her tower and goes insane. The moral of the story is, just because a fairy tale is typical doesn't always mean it has a happy ending. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the concert experience of a lifetime. You're about to meet the tween superstars of the century, the princesses of pop music, the greatest girl band since the Spice Girls. I give you the TCAs. Let's meet this awesome group. This is Amy, the lead singer. Her voice is so sweet and soothing that they say it's able to relieve pain. This is Emmy. She plays the triangle. She's the youngest sister, so young in fact that she still wets the bed. This is Desi, the guitarist. She's kind of boring. This is Nora, the drummer. She just has to be different from her sisters. She's the quickest to memorize songs. While it takes her sisters 150 to 300 times to rehearse a song before mastering it, it takes Nora only 50 to 150 times. So take that, sisters. When the TCA sisters come out to perform, the audience gets so hyped up that their reactions can only be described as anti-cholinergic. When the sisters step up on stage, their enthusiastic fans get starstruck googly eyes and dry mouths from screaming so loud. When their music begins, the fans' hearts race and they begin to swoon and sway. But you can always have too much of a good thing. It's been shown that too much exposure to the TCA sisters can cause severe heart palpitations and even death. The moral of the story is, while a small dose of the TCA sisters can certainly make you happier and healthier, too much at once can kill you. So listen with caution, folks. I forgot which one was. Dude, that was backwards. <laughs> 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 <laughs>